Okay, so in this tutorial, I want to go over something that is a huge time saver. I'm all about being efficient, saving time, so that way you can focus on creativity. Now, I've come across a script that is free, and it will solve all of your issues whenever you need to fade a layer. So if you go to scriptfighter.gumroad.com, and I'll put a link for this in the description below, you can grab this as well. They have some really cool expressions in here. And this is one we're going to be looking at today, this SF Fader. Check this out. It's got some tutorials in here for you to check out and then you add it to your cart. It's free, but you can name your own price. I paid like five bucks and it's well worth it. Now, whenever you go to install this, you're going to go to your applications. I'm on a Mac, so it may be slightly different on PC, but you're going to go to your applications and then the version you're using, which I'm using 2025, and you want to drop it in where it says scripts and script UI panel. So if I scroll down, I've already installed mine. It's right here, SF Fader. And if you have After Effects open, you will need to quit and then open back up. I'm going to hop over to After Effects, and the way you're going to bring it in is go up to your window and find it down here. Now, I've got a lot of things here for AE Juice and other things, so I'm just going to type SF. That way, we'll jump right to SF Fader and click that on, and you get this window right here. I'm just going to undock this so that we can see it better. So it's very simple, and we'll go over what each one of these things means and show you just how efficient this can be for your workflow. I've got this layer right here and we want to fade this in and out. Now it's as simple as this. If you just want to add a fade in, click this, fade out, click that, or if you want to do both. I'm going to be doing both and you can use this either with markers or a slider. First let's do markers. So just have that selected and click fade in and fade out. Now you have these markers and your fade will come in or out depending on where these markers are. So this is a very, very cool plugin. I'm going to be using this a lot. So very, very cool. If you want to remove the fade, just click the remove fade. Now let's check out slider. I'm going to dock this for this part of it so that way you can see exactly what's going on. So we got slider. And again, I'm going to click fade in and out. And as you can see, it adds in a slider for us. So this is just as efficient. You can scroll this forward and back. I personally like the markers because it's visual. You see here on the fade out, it does it as well. I'm going to remove that. Again, go back to markers. And let's just do a fade in so you can see it. And then let's remove that and just click fade out. And as you can see, it drops it there. So again, if you click both, it adds a marker at the beginning and at the end. And this will work for any length. So let's make this a lot shorter. Fade in and out. Boom, right there. Super, super cool expression. This is something that I highly recommend that you check out. I'm going to be using this in every project I have that requires fading, which is pretty much every project I have. So if you like this kind of tutorial where I go over some free expressions, let me know in the comments below and I'll find some more and share with you guys. Thanks for watching. Did you know that nearly 90% of you who learn from my content on a regular basis haven't yet subscribed to my channel? So can I ask you a favor? If you enjoy my content and you find it useful and you want to support this channel, the free simple way to do that is by hitting the subscribe button. I sell templates, project files, animation presets, courses, and much more on my Patreon. But my tutorials have always been and always will be absolutely free. In return, I'll make a commitment to make this channel better than any other motion graphic tutorial channel out there. I'll listen to your feedback and make the tutorials that you want to see. And as always, I'll present the most useful information to help you become the motion graphic designer you want to be. Thank you so much for watching.